So full time at Wembley Stadium, Chelsea 3, Arsenal 0 in the FA Cup final. Fair to say a very disappointing day for Arsenal, very, very difficult to argue with the scoreline. Chelsea won 3 0, hit the woodwork three times, and Arsenal's best player was goalkeeper Manu Zinsberger, who made a series of great saves, particularly in the first half, to keep the score down to 1 0 at half time. And Arsenal were quite lucky to go in at half time, only 1 0 down. Spoke, just spoke to Jonas Eidevel after the game and one of the things that was quite interesting about this game was that Chelsea have played a back three pretty much all of this season, at least they've started in that shape in pretty much every game and Arsenal got quite a lot of change out of that back three in September but Emma Hayes reverted to a back four, played more of a 4-4-2 in this game which is how we were used to seeing Chelsea play last season. I asked Jonas Eidevel about that but he said that wasn't a surprise and that Chelsea often shift to that shape in game anyway um, so that Arsenal were prepared for it they did have a strategy for it it was just one of two and we knew that they would change during the game so uh, now it wasn't down to that that uh, that we were not able to deal with them better have to say looking at the game it's difficult to see what that strategy was because Chelsea were all over Arsenal um, from the very first minute they went ahead after two minutes and they continue to pepper Arsenal's goal in the first half an hour really and the distances between the Arsenal midfield were a little bit too long and one of the things Jonas said about that is that Chelsea kind of shift their pressing patterns so sometimes they press with a front two with Fran Kirby and Sam Kerr sometimes they just press with one player and he said that Arsenal's players weren't good enough at recognising exactly what that meant when, Ars when Chelsea were defending in either a 4-4-2 or a 4-5-1 and he felt that that was a lot uh, to do with why Chelsea dominated so much. In the first half, they uh, they create some scoring opportunities from structured open play, just because we are dropping too late and not able to press the uh, the player with the ball. And in second half, it's down to us losing the ball at very very poor times and and then being exposed. And uh, that you have to give to Chelsea that the players that they have up front, if they get time and space and uh, and run against you. Uh, they're, they're world-class players and you can't let Chelsea do that that many times like they did today against us and expect a good result. I also asked him about um, the kind of recovery pace in defence because without Leah Williamson um, I think that has been an issue for Arsenal and it's one that Chelsea I think made a bit of hay out of especially in the first half and Jonas said that he felt that it was more to do with um, Arsenal dropping off way too late and making that line very high when Chelsea won the ball in transition. Um, but like I say, disappointing day for Arsenal. Uh, and they've got Barcelona um, on Thursday night. I guess another talking point for this game was the fact that Jordan Nobbs didn't get on the pitch, which personally I found very surprising because in Arsenal's build-up they were going long quite a lot. They were bypassing the midfield and we've seen this midfield three, all three of them really, really good players. But we have seen this midfield three play together quite a few times now and usually it needs a substitution to break the game open. Um, personally, I always feel more comfortable when Arsenal have either Mana Iwabuchi, Jordan Nobbs or even someone like Tobin Heath who of course was unavailable today in the team just because they bring some of that unstructured play. Um, and I think Arsenal lacked that a little bit in this lineup today. But I asked Jonas about not bringing Jordan on and he said... I think it's all about... Uh the balance uh, on uh, on midfield uh, and uh, of course you uh, you, you want to have many different scenarios and I think there are many different scenarios that maybe sometimes as a as a fan it's uh, it's impossible to think about all of them we uh, we, we, we wanted to go for it uh, and uh, and to see if we uh, we could take the game to, to overtime but then we still need to have substitutions to to be done there because obviously of different players loadings and and their physical conditions going into the into the game um, Jordan Ops is a class player she's really really important for uh, for us and uh, and of course I understand that she's disappointed that she didn't get on the pitch today my only message can be that uh, I really value Jordan as a player and she will be very important for us here in the December month as well personally still feel very surprised that Jordan didn't get on but his message was that Jordan will be a very key player during the month of December and it'll be very interesting to see what his starting line up looks like on Thursday because Arsenal are going to play an even better team on Thursday night Barcelona at Emirates Stadium.